never surrender. For years, the cast of Galaxy Quest have played the same roles. Never give up. Never surrender. Their careers were bravely going nowhere. By Grabthar's hammer. What, what a, a saving. Until... You are our last hope. Their biggest fans requested a command performance. Hey, where's my limo? We have studied every facet of your missions and strategies. We are actors, not astronauts. You will save us. That was a hell of a thing. Now, they're not just acting like heroes, they must become heroes. Join us with Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver, and Alan Rickman as we take a look at a new adventure comedy from DreamWorks Pictures, Galaxy Quest on location in space. Galaxy Quest is about a group of actors who were on an enormously successful television series. It was canceled 20 years ago. Now the poor actors, tragic group that they are, have no life except going to conventions and opening computer stores. Their lives have not turned out to be as successful as they were when they were on the show. And there's a lot of petty jealousy between the, the six of them. They really do love him. <laughs> yeah, almost as much as he loves himself. And while all this is going on, the show has, is in reruns. And aliens from another planet have intercepted our TV signal. We have studied every facet of your missions and strategies. They think that the shows we've done are actual historical documents of us saving the universe. So when they're attacked by the, you know, the biggest menace in the entire solar system, and they know they can't defend themselves, they say, who do they turn to? You are our last hope. They need the experts to help them out, and that's us. It's a wonderful fish out of water story, and uh, these people have to rise to the occasion. So it's actors in outer space behaving as, as, as real people, as real adventurers. There's a red uh, thingy moving toward the green thingy. The idea of one of us actually going up into space, you know, be like, NASA calling me because I've done all these science fiction movies, you know, like they have a monster to kill. Call me, I'd be like, you know, panic. Never give up, never surrender. Tim Allen stars as the self-centered Jason Nesmith portraying the fearless TV commander. He's got a couple of names. He's got his stage name, Jason Nesmith. Your commander is on deck. Tim Allen plays Jason Nesmith, who actually plays Captain Taggart. Never give up, never surrender. Action. Activate the Omega 13. The stuff that I that is most interesting to me is piloting the Starship because it's something I always wanted to do. Laredo, take us out. I have a lot of action, a lot of. Turn the thrusters on! Run! A lot of that stuff that's so hokey when there's no one in the room. Plasma shields! At one point, he actually, the director told him, all right, all right. Uh, I think we've seen enough of Stallone. Can we pull it down a little bit? Because I, I love action films, so I really went after it. Sigourney Weaver plays the captivating Gwen DeMarco, who portrays communications officer Tawny Madison on the TV show. Although we all know her for Ripley in the sci-fi Alien series, she embraced the comedic contrast of her character. Sigourney just jumped on this character. She loved having long blonde hair and being this sex symbol. I thought she was a very natural beauty, and I felt that it was very natural to her to want to show off these assets. Every line, every every movement, every gesture kind of starts with that. Very genuinely, she would feel it was good to look like Barbie. She's having a ball with it, and um, she's she's uh, she's shameless. She just repeats what the computer says. Um, the ship is disintegrating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing alien jokes to her all you know all day. And believe me, that isn't getting tiring for her. <laughs> Look, I have one job on this lousy ship. It's stupid, but I'm going to do it, okay? Ellen Rickman stars as the once respected Shakespearean actor Alexander Dane, who portrays Commander Taggart's advisor, the half humanoid, half reptilian alien, Dr. Lazarus. Well, he's called Alexander Dane. 
which sounds like a bit made up to me. I mean, God knows what his real name is, but that's that's certainly the name he goes by. You broke the bloody ship. He's one of those English actors who's found himself in Hollywood with all sorts of aims and ambitions. I'd like Richard the Third. Five curtain calls. There were five curtain calls. I was an actor once. Damn it now, look at me. Look at me. Not least because he plays the kind of resident alien among the crew, and for him this involves the daily indignity of having to put on a rubber head, which he also loathes. He can poke fun at the, the very uh, sort of classic stiff Shakespearean actor and really play with it, so he's having a ball. The Galaxy Quest crew is rounded out by a top ensemble cast. Well, Daryl and I come from the same discipline. None. Dar Daryl Chill Mitchell star is the star of Galaxy Quest. Plus, we're both uh, comedian types. I am a comedian. I'm not sure Daryl's He's like a rap singer or something. And uh, Sam Rockwell, the, the three of us are children. Now, see if you can get me like a dressing room or something. Because, you know, the other actors get a dressing room. We're pushing the envelope with Alan and Sigourney at this point. I think they're getting a little irritated at the, at the shenanigans. What? In designing the set for Galaxy Quest, engineers created an intergalactic gimbal that was out of this world. Rather than just have a camera do this, yeah, just a little shake move. They you know, decided to make the whole damn thing move. Right, right. And the special effects guys going, yep. First time anybody's ever built one of these. <laughs> and then it's just a gigantic set that articulates. I just said a big word. The gimbal, which was sometimes very frightening, at least all we had to do was what was real, which was hold on. Well, it was a relief that we didn't have to act falling down, because that's the worst, you know, like having five actors try to act like we're all falling at the same time. But it does it for us. I just kept looking up, really, rather than feeling the sensation. I thought, I hope this is strong in structure, because I don't want that coming down on our heads. The complex special effects for the film demanded the expertise of award-winning artists. We have the best people on the planet helping us with the special effects. We have industrial light magic doing all this incredible CGI and, and spaceship work. You have Stan Winston, who's doing all the aliens and the monsters. Between the two of them, visually, it's quite stunning. We sort of crossed over the whole realm of how do you create characters in film? You do it with all these different technologies, and in Galaxy Quest, we've used them all. Well, we've got blue babies, very friendly little babies that like to eat each other. Go figure. <laughs> we got Grignac, the rock monster. He's actually kind of cool. You just don't want to irritate him. Well, I'm open to any suggestions. Pig monster is going to move about a mile of a year. I fight this huge pig monster. Sarah's the, is the big villain. He's meaner when he's in person. It's quite an imposing villain. Uh, he's um, like sort of Attila the Crab. What did you say? Goes around conquering worlds, basically, and killing people. He seems to enjoy it quite a lot. I've looked at Stan Winston many times, and so now how am I supposed to kick the crap out of this thing? Because eventually I do have to beat him up. I don't know how I'm going to do that. And where do you put this galactic group of creative characters and special effects? You put them in an outrageous location, Goblin Valley, Utah. This is the strangest place on the earth, other than my backyard. I mean, they have, they have the oddest things. It, it just, it's very prehistoric. Wearing a rubber head and a wool costume in Goblin Valley is a unique endurance test. Amazing place. Incredible. Who knew that existed? Distant locations captivating creatures, and an outstanding intergalactic crew. The script's really good. good. Good characters, people you care about. It's a wonderful film, I think, for, for the whole family. Does the rolling help? Uh -huh. It helps. It's very funny. It's a brilliant idea, that's the thing. It's gonna be a hoot. Oh, that's not right. A space hoot. The adventure has only begun. Go for the mouth, the throat, his vulnerable spots. There's a rocket that's not a vulnerable spots.